Well, I'm back again with an amazing Unity tutorial. In this Unity tutorial, we're gonna learn how to make this chest open and pick up things from it, and how to use this key to unlock it. If you don't have this key, the chest will not unlock it. Uh, this is not gonna be simple things, so you have to understand. Okay. Uh, let's just begin it okay so first two things obviously you need two prefabs now i will go to my prefabs these are here i attached a box collider to it and also made it a trigger you know make it is trigger on made it a box collider made it is trigger on and i go to the i know i just attached my pickup key pickup script to it the, the link will be in the description for these two script that i will be using in the in this tutorial we have this chest i have attached an animator you can just add component write down animator and just click on it it will add it will automatically okay then i have attached my chest open script just over here a script just click on the object you want to do and just you know uh drag and drop i will just uh, i cannot do it right now because i already have this one I just I have to unpack this you can just you know go to prefab unpack and it will unpack it completely then you would be able to attach a script to it mine was just not prefab already so I was able to do it nicely you know if you have done something and if you want to have like this chest again if you want to have like your game and you want to have chest over one over here and one over there you can simply just drag this chest over like over to here and every time when you whenever you just you know place your chest into the into the game it will have the same configuration that you don't have to do it again and again so it will be helpful like i did i just no this one yeah i just dragged my both the prefab this one and this one over here like over here you see this one has already all the things you know but just you have to assign the variables animator box collider and everything else okay so that's just, just you know that's how things work and then you just will be able to do it nicely and quickly easily okay so now we are head on to the variables what does it require okay so we head on to the key pickup script and we have four variables okay the first is the key pickup object the game object that player has to pick up the second inventory object the, the object which is which will be false in the beginning and will it come through when the player pick up this thing this is just an in inventory thing you know you just have to make inventory or just you can attach it to your inventory also and that next is the pickup script you know whenever you come to the key and you seize your reach tool becomes active and you seize the key a text appears that's gonna be uh, this one you can just you know I have told you in my previous videos also make any game object uh, then make uh, you know a UI and make it text mesh pro or text it's up to you okay it will simp uh, it will automatically add a canvas to it and then you can just you know uh play around with the settings of the text those are like uh, yeah this one you can just uh, play up with these settings and just you know write down these align with that let me show you over here yeah this is my ui screen i just have it somewhat little on my crosshair and then you can just you know if it, if it does come like in your way like you know if it just piles up in the single line vertically then you can just you know increase this row you can make it 2000 so that it all lines up in the single row you can make it and you can just add your custom fonts and play up with these settings whatever you want to do if you have any problem or questions you just can ask me if you if i forget to talk about something or if you have any trouble doing things okay uh let me do okay we were over here and i got the so the text is done now the sound the sound is a bit thing you know okay you go any folder make it an empty game object like empty create empty it will create an empty game object like that and just add an audio an audio source it will add an audio source and like that i have this audio source key pick up uh, display on awake will be on just make sure you have this all settings paste up like you no. Know, you can just change the volume according to yourself and you know this key pickup you just have to you know you just have to attach it to your first person controller or character cause you know you just if, if you want you can just also add this to over like here around your key so whenever the player comes around the key and picks up he can listen to it but I like my things 
attached to the character so i don't have to you know just play around with it it would be mess up my play area so i don't do that yeah just attach them to my first person character and wherever he goes the sound also goes with him so you can check out this thing the play on awake would be on by default you can just switch it off you have to drag your audio file to over here i would just say uh i have these sounds over here i just click on the thing and just drag it like that it will attach i will not do it right now okay so the sounds are done i have like two sounds for this chest open sound and key pick up sound obviously like that i have three text for this key pick up text chest open text and key missing text okay just you can just write whatever you want and let me just head on to the chest what i have done uh on the chest you have to just add two box colliders one is gonna be for the trigger and okay where is it ah yeah and obviously the second one is gonna be for your person that doesn't go through it the one you have to make is the box collider and make sure the the one box collider that you put on the object so that person don't collide through it or goes through it make sure it's on the object not on an empty game object okay may not on the parent thing uh, this is on parent so the person can go through it you see the this blue outline this means it's an folder it's a folder or empty game object okay uh this orange highlight means it's an object okay so make sure you have a box collider on this one and on this one else also i have animator a box collider with trigger on and i have this script attached to it see the animator you can just drag it like that and those things the key object needed uh the key object needed is gonna be the inventory one you can drag it like that open text you can drag it like that and same with the thing key missing text and open just open sound also make these uh, false by default so that you know they don't appear when you start the game it will be automatically showing when you you know when you are when the scripts run okay so now we are we also have to head on to the animation let me play the thing what i have done and now i will animate in front of you guys so that you don't you know mess up with the thing okay so i have this thing i i see the chest it says open I don't have the key right now okay but it now it says the thing that you don't have the key and if I go again it will show again if I you know if I don't see the chest the text got on the bottom will disappear and if I pick up the key and I open the thing it plays the open sound but it will not open right now because it doesn't have an animator right now okay now we head on to the animation okay now I have like these parent things right now over here this is the you know things to move on from the chest and you have to make animation i already have this one so don't tell me okay you just can go over to animate let me okay yeah go over to animation uh if you don't have this tab just go to windows and go to animation and just add these both uh okay the first one gonna be you know create new clip uh write down wherever and wherever you want it to be i uh, just you know assets animation and just write text chest idle uh, I just made it already. So now you have to assign whatever things you want to move it. Okay. So in this thing, I don't think so. Wait a second. Okay. Now I have to see which things I want to be opening. So this one, I want to have to open this one. Yeah. So one is this. Yeah. Parent. Cap. Cap 2 yeah rotation yeah that one not the other one remove properties cause you know this thing is on the cap too and now if i you know just wait a second if i do it right that yeah that's the thing oh uh yeah okay so i have this idle now i want more of these uh wait a second i want these you know these pistons also to move okay hmm. so for that also i need to add properties first of all let me see those uh yeah first is this one and this one so piston one and three i'm gonna add properties for that go to parent cap 
and these are the properties for that and let's just add the properties of position piston 4 I'll go again I will add properties for 1 oh it was 3 I forgot it position I will delete the yeah remove properties for this one uh, this animation stuff is you know kind of bit hmm, had taken off extend 3 position okay sometimes this unity i don't know it just you know helps out to place all in itself with the position i would just play the animation the test would be all around the world i don't know why it will help but i'll show you if that tip bug happens i can do it okay so i have these pistons i have to do with the other four also on the top okay uh don't do this yeah that would be nice okay Mm, now I have to see which pistons are this one. Yeah, I know. Yeah, 6, 7, 11, 12. 6, 7, 11, 12. Okay. Okay, so now all four pistons are done. Now we are on to the. We, you know, just. Okay, now wait a second. Just paste this also over here. Control C and Control V. Now the idle has been done. Just copy this. Create a new clip. Just open. And now we have to add on add properties. Do not we don't need to add properties in this one. Just Control V and it will add on all the properties itself. Okay. So now we will just do the thing. First of all, on one second, I will do the this one and also this one. You know, guys, I'm not doing it with perfection right now because it's just animation. If you don't, if you want, you can just you know slightly play with numbers like that. Okay. Ah. Uh, you know just always remember to click on that red key unless you just animating things and it doesn't work that's done mm -hmm. and and make sure you also uh, also just you know copy paste these other keyframes so nothing else happens until that happens and now I will go to the 2 second mark and then I'm gonna be no, wait a second I'll just yeah I'll do that and for the other ones I will do that yep that's fine I uh, remember to don't need to paste this one just you know yeah paste this one and just paste the bottom piston you don't need bottom pistons also because you know you have added the thing now on the three second mark or maybe just yeah three second mark I'll just come and open this lid and you can see the book right over there and if you go through whole animation uh, if i play that okay ah uh, nice you don't want now you see the bottom one open top one open and the lid opens that's all okay you can just stop okay so we're not making the close animation right now because if you want to make a close on anim animation you can just you know uh, flip this all keyframes on the backwards, but then you have to just add on these all in the this thing uh, If you have any problem, you can just write down in the comments. This animation is done and now we head on to the animator Okay uh, Just close this and Go to click this and make a transition over there 
now we go to our script what was it written open and you see you see the bool over here it says open you also have to make the same bool in over here bool name it open exactly same go to this thing uh check uncheck of both of this and just that much and whenever wherever you have saved your animation go to there like i don't know why it saved it over here yeah but let me just move it to animations yet yeah. chest open uh uncheck the loop time on chest either also uncheck the loop time now if i show you yep i come over here go i watch the chest it shows me you don't have the key now i pick up the key i press e to open the chest now you see the animation playing the chest opens nicely and that's how it's done and now i can jump freely in heaven you can also hit the subscribe button if you like this video if you have any problems suggestions or something you want to write don't be feel shy just write it down that's all for the video guys bye bye Never really know just what you want With you I don't ever feel calm